Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. How are you, Gemini? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month. Remaining of April 2021. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into it. How are you feeling, Gemini? I hope you guys are doing awesome. Okay. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. One more. Oh, okay. All right, so your first card here is the Princess of Wands. This is the energy that you are currently experiencing or taking on these energies. Princess of Wands is definitely talking about uh, very creative. I see you guys really like feeling a bit empowered, feeling confident, um, walking with a strut. You know, you guys are definitely feeling yourselves. Uh, what they're saying here is for the remaining of the month, there's going to be a lot of new beginnings happening for you. These are new endeavors. Travel may be here as well. The person that you're dealing with is the four of wands. So they're definitely wanting some type of commitment or they're wanting some type of longevity. Um, you may be dealing with uh, a situation where there is almost like a feeling of you're scared to take a leap of faith. Um, there is fear in regards to am I ready to settle uh, or am I ready to move on for some of you guys? Um, if you guys are single, I definitely do see a person coming in. And this is a person that is definitely looking for something long term where the connection is great. Things are moving and they start to move rather quickly. Uh, I see you guys kind of wanting to halt or wanting to stop only because you feel like you're questioning or being very much in your head about am I ready? Am I ready to move forward? Am I even ready to settle or uh, should I just take this time to really just have fun? So there is going to be almost this feeling of having to make a choice and you don't you, there's you're fearing that you're going to make the wrong choice. And what they're telling you is just be authentic to yourself, Gemini. Just be true and honest with yourself. If you feel like at this present time you're not ready for some type of commitment, be honest and transparent. It doesn't mean that this person is trying to rush you into the altar. Uh, it just means that it's a person that is dating with a purpose, meaning that they are not wanting to waste time. So it doesn't mean that you have to, like I said, rush to the altar. It just represents that it's a purpose that is, uh, sorry, a purpose, that it's a person that is dating with a purpose, okay? Now, the advice here is the seven of wands, sorry, the seven of swords. So this is um, feeling like, there are hidden motives feeling like uh, for some of you guys, it could even represent like you are dealing with the person that is in a relationship um, or has been in some type of commitment. You're starting to feel like they are not being completely transparent or not being completely honest. Um, and this is only for those of you guys that are currently like dealing with a person like you're either dating or or having some type of physical connection here. I do see the four of wands with the seven of swords. That indicates to me that you're aware either that this person is dealing uh, with some type of commitment or you've been aware that there's like a third party situation going on uh, with the page of, uh, sorry, with the princess of wands. It could just represent that you kind of rushed into getting into a physical connection. And now with the four of wands, they may be the one to they may be the one talking about commitment, talking about like longevity with the seven of swords. You feel like they're not being completely honest. And it could be because like, how would you want to start something serious when you're not even done over here? You get what I'm saying? Like you, you haven't either completely separated or completely ended a relationship that is still currently happening. Uh, so there is almost a feeling of like not fully trusting where they're coming from. And I don't blame you. The Seven of Swords does indicate like a person not being completely honest or not being completely transparent. Now, you do have here the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here is representing um, the energy that you need to embrace. So there is a new beginning that's coming towards you. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that was married. Um, and this could have recently came out to light where you found out that the person was either in a commitment or that they were dealing with multiple people. Um, however, the Ace of Pentacles does represent a new beginning that's coming through. And uh, 
this is a person that's coming through that is bringing some type of stability. So again, if you are dealing with the person that recently you found out they were dealing with other people, etc., cetera, um, don't hang on to that and don't be nobody's second place. Do you see what I'm saying? Because what Spirit is telling you is you need to keep it pushing. There is a better opportunity coming your way that is more towards something long term, some type of commitment. And you have the Princess of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, um, Geminis, you may be dealing with Earth energy that's coming through Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, you may have dealt with the fire energy in the past, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy. And what they're telling you is, again, if there was some type of revelation or um, rumors even that this person may be dealing with other people, the truth of the matter is, yes, they have been dealing with other people. They're not being completely honest. But what they're telling you is don't hold on to that. Keep it pushing. You deserve better. You're walking towards a new beginning, a new start. Um, this new start is definitely, I prefer to see the Ace of Pentacles in a love reading because this is talking about longevity. This is talking about something that is with a strong foundation versus the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is temporary emotion. Um, so again, Pentacles is always something that is going to manifest into uh, something more long term. So again, uh, Princess of Pentacles could represent Earth energy, like I said. But this is the energy that um, the likely outcome here is you walking towards something that is worthy, something that is worth you holding on to. As you can see here, uh, the woman is holding the pentacle. It's, it's, a, it's something of value. It's an offering. It's some type of uh, new endeavor. And you can see in the background, there's like a new pathway forming. So again, I see you guys really being illuminated or being guided towards an uh, individual that is better suited for you. Uh, stop holding on to the past is what they're saying. Let's see what the love, oh, love oracle cards have for you. We have maybe. So maybe could represent an energy of, again, like I said, feeling a bit confused. Maybe you're not really knowing if you should hold on to the situation or if you should listen to your intuition. What they're telling you is listen to your intuition. The potential to happen is there in regards to manifesting something that is long term, something that is going to be more um, with a stronger foundation. But you're the one that decides you're the one that either settles or keeps it pushing and know your worth and don't allow other people to put you in a messy situation. Um, only then will you be able to manifest the stability that you're looking for and that you deserve Gemini. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.